Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. I'm Diana, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so it's probably, probably cannot hear me. I have the door open. Who records with the sound on? With the doors open. Anyways, I'm doing it regardless. I hope this is hard. Okay, maybe I should close the window, but then the lighting won't be good. I gotta think about this for a second. So, I'm in the hotel and I'm really still shocked that I'm in a completely different continent and uh, it's still like, whoa, I can't believe I'm actually here. And sometimes I think that I'm still in America. Like this country, I'm in Kenya right now. Where I am, I'm in the city of Mombasa and it's busy. Oh, they sold lattes at the other place, but they don't do decaf. No one does decaf here, so it's a little bit hard. I cannot have caffeine in coffee because it gives me jitters but usually a latte a decaf latte will make my life my day see it has no caffeine in it it's just the hotness and the oat milk and all of that i think that's what i'm craving i just need a nice hot latte oh no <laughs> okay enough of that but i think i'm getting my energy back on which is good Talking about coffee just kind of pumped me up a little bit. Now I think I'm good to go. I have this outfit on for today and it's very, very soft, very comfortable. But I don't have an iron. I have this thing. It says it's supposed to wrinkle releaser. Lots of wrinkles in my outfit, so. Oh, it actually worked. I had a bunch here and they're gone. So I guess it's working. So I have to do the whole long dress and then we'll do that so i'm gonna finish up here go grab some eat something to eat and then we'll be on our merry way and then i'll show you around maybe yeah catch you later It's real? So funny. I'm not going in the water. All of them are there. Wow. When they want to ride it, Oh, really? How much does it cost to ride? Yeah, I love it. It's so nice. It's like. Wow. Okay. There are. Here. Interesting. Look at that. The goal is to see if we can ride on. So I'm gonna see if they're gonna let us. No, you're recording. I am. No, you didn't. Press the red button. Okay, I, I, so, oh no, it's recording. It's recording. Okay. It's, yeah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Should I, I see. sit like a lady? It's counting. Yeah. I sit like this. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> sit like that. Just not here. here, not here. Okay, make sure you see the whole. But animal. is somebody going is with her? Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. He's gonna walk I with you. I don't think she knows how to do it. Please help her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm seeing you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>
Alright, next up, we ended up going to Fort Jesus Museum. One. It's called Nina Ricci, right? And they make them inside the store, so it works out. I don't know who sells those, but that was it smelled so lovely. And then there's this one. I'm not sure if I liked this one, but she sprayed me with three things, and I wasn't sure which one I was smelling or which one I liked the most. But anyways, I got this other one, and I think it's nice. I'm not sure. But anyways, then I got I wanted a lace suit, but I couldn't get a lace suit because a lace suit is basically a cloth that you wear as a top as a bottom or as a dress. So usually women will, it's made for women basically, and men wear a different type of cloth, I forgot what it's called. The colors that I wanted were designed in a different rag. A lace was about four feet by six. The other one with the colors that I wanted was extremely large, I did not want that. So I decided not to get that, and I got this other cloth, which I'm not sure what it's for. Again, I forgot what it's called, but it has this little thing, so I don't think you could wear it. And then I got this other one. They said this is more for like the beach. You go to the beach and you tie, tie it around or probably sit on it. This is a nice color in the designing. I like that. So I decided to get both. But anyways, that was my day. We walked around. We went on the ferry, which I showed. We had really, really great mango juice. Then I had lunch, rice and beans, which I did not take a picture of. But anyways, everything today was so lovely. Hey. This is what it looks like. We already got in, so it's kind of messy. We already kind of threw things all over there, don't worry about. And another desk here, we already used it up, so it's messy a little bit. And then here's the other bed, what it kind of looked like when we first got here. 
without it before me sitting down there's a window and again there is a mosquito net we have a closet here nothing grand is in here but i already kind of settled in a little bit a, another messy table <laughs> and there i am <laughs> we have the bathroom which is protected or closed with the shower curtain which is kind of whatever this one has hot water so it's good they have the toilet there they have a sink again everything is kind of messy but you know whatever so they leave you slippers, which is nice. So you have the slippers to go in the bathroom. But yeah, that's basically it. And then we have a cute little balcony. Again, we already started washing things, hanging things. But it's pretty cool. We have people outside. It's really nice, actually. Not so crowded. Like, our first hotel was very crowded. Lots of people outside. We're basically in this town center. And here we have chicken. Where are they? Okay, I think they went home. But there were chicken just roaming. Oh, there it is. There goes the chicken. I think it's a rooster gonna crawl or make the noise in the morning but yeah there it is that's our alarm clock in the morning so that's pretty cool good morning good morning okay i'm gonna go get some breakfast and yeah it's free breakfast so i'm really happy about that and then we have wi-fi in the lobby area so i'm gonna do that and then go and do some other stuff but anyways that's about it on a boat where are you going tell us where you're going are you are you going sailing They've opened it up and we're gonna use our spoon, which is basically the part of the coconut, and you eat it just like this woman. Eating coconut? Voila. We have our coconut spoon. Can you believe? I was wondering how we were gonna eat it. How was he going to give it to us to eat? And so he just saved this little piece on the table and now we're gonna use it like I showed you earlier. Just 
peel it through. There's a sweetness down there. This is so soft. Yeah, this one is very soft. Mm -hmm. Very it's like mm -hmm. the thing is so rough. The other time it's like it's fish because I didn't know. Mm. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. It is good. Their skin is good. Smile. Today's our last day. I'm gonna go right now and get some tea. Hopefully there's ginger tea. Well, there is ginger tea, but I have not had really, really good ginger tea. I had the first night that we were here, the ginger tea was spectacular, okay? It, it was beyond. I mean, I like ginger tea to be extremely, extremely spicy, okay? I like my tea very, very spicy, and that one restaurant did a really, really good job. Now, we're gonna be drinking tea in the hotel, and they make it not strong, but you know, it's better than nothing. And so I'm gonna have that and some chapati. I love the way their chapati is made at this hotel. So I'm really looking forward to that. There's no carrots inside. In Tororo, where we're going back to, the chapati at the restaurant, it had carrots in it and I was kind of taken aback with that. I did not like that as much, but yeah, that's that. But anyways, yeah, so today's our last day here. We had lunch. Today we didn't do so much. We kind of just hung out together, me and my mother. We went for a walk, got on the tuk-tuk. It's what they call those little vehicles, tuk-tuk. It's basically a motorcycle with three wheels, with covers and seats. <laughs> so, yeah. But apparently it's called tuk-tuk because of the noise that it makes when you turn it on. So that's pretty cool. And also they were actually imported from India. So they used to have those in India and then I guess they came here. So that's where they're from. But those are pretty cool. I like them a lot. So yeah, we are going to be done here in Kenya. I've had a lovely trip, honestly. Okay, so I think the first day I was not exactly sure because it kind of reminded me of home. And so to me, I was just like, mm, it's, it looks the same, but when, where we are right now is a little bit more chill, more in the space where there are more locals who are, I mean, I guess everywhere, but less buses, less traffic, so it's really nice, and I really like that. There's a television there. I should go outside and see a little bit. Now, drinking tea, getting ready to go to bed, take a shower, and then we leave tomorrow for a 20-hour ride. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the ride. That's for 100%. Oh. I didn't finish telling the story as far as what ended up happening is that in the beginning I was not too fond of this of this place because it reminded me of home but then I started to see the locals and I started to see all the markets and they call the markets Marketi or Marketi Marketi it's basically a market with an I at the end basically but yeah so you know lots of little sections where they're selling fruits and foods so seeing the culture and then pacing the people dressed in their cultural attire that just brought everything back to life and then having the beach and seeing all those different areas just made this experience really really wonderful so I actually really do love this place I think it's definitely a place that I would love to come back to and explore more or other sections of it so that was great I am obsessed with Kenya but I still am obsessed with Uganda just because of course that's where I am from and I just love the way I don't know it just seems so much more the only difference is that there they they don't really dress in the cultural attire it's more westernized attire I've noticed so that's that but my whole goal of being here is to try to wear as much authentic clothing as possible so I'm looking that's basically what I'm trying to do this is not authentic in any way but we're doing the most that we can. So the henna that the girl did, it's starting to look lighter, which is nice. And apparently I think this is not the right color. It's supposed to be a lighter brown. 
but it's my first henna and yeah it's pretty cool i like that this is outside and i just wanted to see outside midnight snack because I basically bought probably four outfits that's my view I have to go outside go out there and get some breakfast before I leave for the trip I have noise outside because I want to kind of like the whole the outdoors to make noise I want to hear what's going on outside have all that memory so I need to put that stuff away I need to put all that into my backpack before my mother comes and yells at me She's not gonna yell at me, but she's gonna look at me and give me the side eye because we already had a goal and a plan to make sure that we're out of this house by 8 a.m. and it's 8.30. So let me put this stuff away and then I go downstairs and then get some breakfast and then we're gonna be on our way to... Oh, I wanted to buy a purse. There's this purse that was handmade and so I want to get that before we leave. I literally don't have any space for anything, where to put anything. I don't know why I'm going to buy it, but I really like it and I don't want to have to miss out if I don't get it. So I wanted to buy a dress. I ended up not, I decided it's better to buy the purse because I will cherish the purse more than I will cherish the dress. Even though I want a dress, I can get dresses in Uganda. So I will do that and then buy the purse here because I really like the way they designed it. So I slept on it. Two days ago, I slept on it and I decided last night that it's best that I get the purse because I will regret it if I go home without it. So I think it's fancy because of it being handmade and how it looks. So I think that's why I want to get it. Yeah, I bought leather, apparently it's real leather sandals and those sandals are amazing. I have to show you. I brought flip-flops, regular flip-flops thinking that would surface but they're soft okay those sandals are beach sandals and so they're soft so it will go through but these sandals are walking sandals and they're amazing i, I love walking in in open shoes basically barefoot but i can't walk around barefoot so that's that so i have those let me show you and then i'm gonna actually hurry up and get out of here because i have 30 minutes to go and eat oh my gosh okay I will say also I love Kenya I feel like it's a vacation spot right you want to come out here you want to be on vacation ish I think that's sort of what that is for and I think a lot of people know that but for me I guess going back I will feel more like I am more at home if I go when I go back to come to Uganda it will be more being home whereas here we were more on vacation we saw the beaches we saw we toured around and it's it's very very fun and lively and stuff like that over there, it's a lot more chill because we're more of in a suburban, quiet area-ish. Something like that. But yeah, this was great. Yeah, Mombasa. Perfection. So these are the sandals I bought. You see, it's thick. The material is very heavy and sturdy. And yeah, they'll last you. And I think they're really cute too. So let's see. Mm -hmm. See that? Fit. Looking forward to I'm the just, ride. I'm just gonna miss the mahambi and the biryani, the goat meat and the rice. I didn't eat the goat meat, but the stew was the stew was delicious. Yeah, was yeah. What was your favorite part? For Jesus. 
for Jesus and the fairy, the beach ball of them. Yeah. I mean, it was, oh, that camel. I never got on, on, on the camel, but she was scared. I did. I was scared. When the thing is going up, you feel like You don't feel it. Uh, next time. Next time. Yeah. Okay, we have the chuk chuk. It's, what is a chuk chuk? This. What is this? It's a small taxi where you're using to to visit everywhere here in Mombasa. Ah. Uh, how does it work? Like a bike, motorbike. Oh, really? Yeah, Let's see. It has a boat. It has a boat? A boat here. Oh. Uh, and inside where you're not getting, you are not getting hot. Get fresh air from inside. Mm. inside. This is a steering. Oh, yeah. where does the key go? Get down the key here. You wanna start? Okay. Oh. Wow. Then just go left, right. Oh. Oh. Wonderful. You have a passenger.